Okay, let's talk about fundamental matrix. Okay. Uh, let me tell you the truth, okay? So even we're gonna introduce like the new name, which is fundamental matrix, but uh, like this is not different with the previous one, okay? In the previous section, we used the big X notation, which which uh, consists with uh, like the columns are like the like fundamental set of solutions. And that is exactly fundamental matrices, okay? So in this section, we're gonna use the psi notation, okay? So psi is this guy, okay? As you can see here, all the column um, is a solution and it's like form, like that columns are the fundamental set of solutions, okay? So since it's like fundamental set of solution, and we can say like they are all independent to each other, okay? Then, which means like, you know, your matrix psi is non-singular. In other words, there is inverse matrix of the psi, okay? So, okay, but like, you know, keep that in mind. We're gonna use the name, the fundamental matrix, like from here, okay? So look at this guy, number 12. We're gonna try to find fundamental matrices, but this is really simple. And first you have to find the like solution uh, which is independent to each other, like it must be two of them. And then whenever you combine as one single matrix with the columns, then it is the fundamental matrix, okay? So let me show you. We practice a lot, but let's do it again, okay? Eigenvalue. To find eigenvalue, then we're gonna set a determinant of A minus lambda I equals zero. Um, a is one minus lambda, A minus lambda I is one minus lambda and one four and negative two minus lambda determinant must be equal zero. Then the determinant of like two by two is AD minus B, right? And one minus lambda, negative two minus lambda and minus four must be equal zero. Distribution, negative two and plus two lambda and minus lambda plus lambda plus lambda square minus four equals zero. In order, lambda square plus lambda minus six equals zero. Then we can easily factor this guy, which is lambda minus two and lambda plus three equals zero. So I have like two different real number eigenvalues, right? Two and negative three. Right? Then with these eigenvalues, we have to find corresponding eigenvector. Okay? So, um, and to find eigenvector, we need A minus uh, lambda i v equals zero, right? Which is um, uh, minus one and one and four and negative four and V1, V2 equal to zero and zero, right? Then minus V1 plus V2 equal to zero. Then I can say my V1 is equal to V2. Then my eigenvector V1 is equal to one and one, right? And we go to the same thing for the second one. Okay, then we will do the same thing. A plus three I V equals zero. Then matrix is um, four, one, and four, and one, right? And V one, V two equal to zero and zero. Then from this guy, uh, four V one equal to V two, then, my second eigenvector is one and four. Is that okay? Then, okay, here we go. My matrix, uh, my, my fundamental matrix. So, get to the I mean, give me one second. So like it says like it is 
uh, we found eigen eigenvector, then we can say eigen, uh, I mean like solution, solution. Let's say it's x1, okay? x1 is um, e to the 2t11. One, one. That's what I want to say, okay? And x2 is uh, e to the minus 3, 1, 4. So your uh, fundamental matrix is e to the 2t, two 2tn, two e to the minus 3t, and 4 e to the minus this is a way to find uh, like, you know, fundamental matrix, okay?